5.30, I'm going to call the Monday, November 6, 2017, um, Selectman's meeting to order. Uh, we're going to be discussing goals for the new town administrator, which is David DeMonch, um, between now and then at 6 o'clock we have executive session. And then under the consent agenda, we have discussed town offices and transfer station business hours for the day after Thanksgiving. Discussion regarding credit cards, um, discuss and approve all the snow contracts for 2017-18, review and consideration of October 19, 2017 open meeting law complaint again, uh, filed by Patrick Higgins, <coughs> that name, discuss and approve town website as official posting location for meeting notices and public hearings in accordance with the new open meeting law and approve Board of Selectmen's minutes from October 16th, 19th, 23rd, and November 2nd. Sign a uh, contract for the purchase of police cruiser tablets and sign the Southeastern Regional Planning and Economic Development District Open Space Plan contract. Review the Town Administrator's report, and then there's several things under um, personnel. I think we need to give Charlie some more work, because <laughs> every time I see Board of Health and nothing underneath it. <laughs> it's the way it is. Okay, so um, we tried to do, I think it's important for us to um, do the performance. Um, Anybody recording? Anybody? Anybody recording? Uh, free cam. Thank and you. And free time. Sorry. Second. That's that's why you have that. That's why. I always forget. Um, and, God, we don't need another open meeting law violation. We get enough of those. <laughs> um, so we have a new town administrator, and it's really important for us, the Board of Selectmen, to set goals as he goes along, and then that would set up an evaluation for him um, within six months of his hiring. Um, we tried to do that before, um, but you weren't able to be there, and I thought it was important that um, we set goals as a board. Um, and I know the last time we met, it was Charlie and I. Charlie, um, do you want to just go over some of the goals that you had for him? Well, um, my first goal would be to set up a um, employee evaluation program, uh, both for he and the board, for department heads, and then to have it trickle down to, through department heads to the departments. Um, I think um, <clears throat> a pass Oh, uh, legal matter may have been able to been resolved with uh, performance evaluations at the time that uh, the person was here. And um, I, I think it's just a good thing that we have that uh, we haven't been, we're, we're kind of lax with, I know, lots of people, lots of communities and businesses lax, they really lack. Uh, kind of what I, I would like to see is um, not so, not like a grade, but maybe like three or four points, you know, um, no more than, than a half a dozen, where, okay, this is what, and you have a standard, and either they meet or they don't. Not not a complex, not, not a scoring. I'm a, I know I, personally I'm a high scorer in such things. And, you know, I've always said that about you. Uh, you know, and, and so, on high street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, that would be a goal that I would like to see David be able to um, develop, uh, especially, I'd say, by the end of June, my personal um, that's Or at least set up the tool for right, it. Right, exactly. And then maybe we start that with right. the new fiscal exactly, year. Yeah, exactly. No, that, that's, that was my point, yeah. Okay. Um, also, I think alongside that would be um, specific job descriptions, because some of our, um, like the Board of Health doesn't have a job description. You know, we keep throwing all this stuff at him, and, and that kind of, I mean, we talked about it a little bit, but we need to make sure that all the employees or the department heads have <coughs> specific job descriptions. So then when we do the performance evaluations of them, then exactly. it's clear and concise, right. you know what I mean? So it's not arbitrary. Especially like assistants. You know, we have assistant treasurer, we have assistant uh, town clerk. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're performing to the, what their department head is expecting them, and they would be able to fill in it they need to. Um, also, uh, Board of Healthy, Board of Healthy, uh, um, the bylaw? No, transfer station. Okay. Um, get a, a specific job description for the, mm -hmm. the assistant in the transfer station. Again, back to the assistants. Mo most of the department heads have them, but the assistants don't. So. Right. Good point. Um, Roddy? 
Um, I put a couple of things down. Some of them more <coughs> long, more long term. Some of them are shorter term. Mm -hmm. One thing I'd like to see we've discussed it in the past is um, street lights. Uh, maybe see if there's any grants available for um, changing over our current street lights to LED, and or adding some more street lights. Um, I've heard from some residents that used to have street lights in the past that, you know, if, if available, they'd like to have street lights back again, um, especially some of the intersections. Um, I'd also like to have them gather a, a synopsis around in town personnel contracts. We're coming back into negotiation season. It would be nice yeah. to know what other towns are paying and mm -hmm. um, what benefits they have and what's working and not working. And we don't want to fall into a trap that's a common trap that all the towns have that isn't working. Um, Follow up on the Freetown Screw site. Jeff Healy had um, been working on getting a 55 and over establishment up there. A planning board's currently working on some um, bylaw changes, uh, suggested bylaw changes that would allow uh, or entice more a business to come in or a contract to come in into a 55 and over, or maybe a 40B. Um, currently, we're at 2.5 percent of the of our population. Our, our housing is at um, 40B level. Um, which uh, opens us up to a contractor coming in and putting in a 40B against, you know, outside of zoning, having special, um, by, uh, not even bylaws, have special building permits and issued to him. Um, so if we get that up to 10%, that wouldn't be, they wouldn't have the access, the ability to do that. So uh, some 55 and over 40B would be a, a great tool for that, um, which Jack had already started working on that with the four of us, uh, three times per okay. site. <coughs> I'll let that go, but it's kind of been off the, off the front burner, put to the back. Put to the back burner, right. It's great to be bringing that forward. Uh, the, and we have a lot of older people that are, you know, the, 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 they're empty nesters, maybe a husband or a wife has passed on, and the, the tax um, burden is becoming daunting, but they'd love to stay in town, um, but they just can't afford to. So this would be something that maybe they could move, sell their, the house they're in now, and you know, move into a stay in town into a 55 and older community, um, and, and and be in the town they've been in for 40, 50 years. Some of them. And the other thing is just the, the ambiguous explore new sources of revenue for the town. All right. So on mine, I have um, a review and update the IT policy. Um, it we haven't had review of that since I think 2007. Um, so I think it's almost. Yeah. It needs to be reviewed and updated. Um, also, along with that, um, a three-year plan so we know where we're going with our computer system and, um, you know, what, up, what else we need to do to secure um, that we have a three-year plan done. Um, also, I same thing, I wrote um, contracts, comparison of all union contracts with neighboring communities and get us prepared um, to look into that. That would also include um, health insurance. Um, and where we are with that and you know um, just make sure that we're getting the best thing for our buck I think that that's something that we should probably look at mm -hmm. um, Job description of all department heads like we already talked about um, Also with the grants not only LED for lighting, but also sewer I think that I think we've all the three of us have really talked about Extending that sewer line all the way down and I think that if we can get a grant for that or look into a grant then we'll be ready for the June town meeting to bring that forward, and I think that that would be huge and beneficial for that that street to get some, you know, good businesses right. down there. Um, so I would add sewer um, alongside of the um, lighting, um, and also I know that he started the financial management team, and it includes, um, you know, I'd like to know updates on how that's working, but I also think he should include the assessors or at least um, either one of the assessors, the chair of the assessors, the ass assistant assessor, I don't know. But I think that, you know, it all starts in that office right. on where we're going, and if they're not part of the financial management team and, and they're second guessing, um, I think that um, having that person um, be part of the financial <coughs> management team <coughs> is needed. So I think that that's good for him for the first six months. Yeah, that's <laughs> a lot. And then, so um, we'll have Tim write that all up for us. Yeah. All right. And as a personnel uh, chair, do you want to sit down and review that with him? Sure. Okay, perfect. Um, I would have him sign it, and you sign it, okay. and then.
Yep. And Definitely. then at least, so just remember though, in six months we'll have a review for him as well. And there's some duplicity there, like yours right. and Charlie's, mine, one of mine, one of yours. So, it, it, so he'll, when Tim does it, he'll just, he won't say who it's coming from, he'll just say right. from the board and then we'll go from there. He's not going to get all of this done. No, no. And but like, I mean, some of these are just long term goals. Right. These aren't necessarily short. The contracts, the contracts will, are short term. Short term, yes. The Freetown screw site's been going on for four years. It's going to go on longer. The LEDs, that's... The other thing, though, with the LEDs is the town building. So, you know, a lot of them have been turned over to fluorescent, but even the fluorescents have a shorter lifespan in the new LEDs, and they were given... The state was giving, um, through Mass Save, I think it was, upgrade grants for that. So, But, yes, I, I would absolutely be happy to sit down with them and go over his goals. Is there solar, too? Solar is... Uh, it's been changing. It changed last year in, oh, in January, and this year it's going to change again. What Charlie Baker is going to come up with, we don't necessarily know yet. All right, and the other thing about solar that I'm just thinking about that is that we really need to look at the pilots, because we have zero pilots, and we're getting all of our solar arrays through taxation, Right. and that's going to change, and if we don't get anything through taxation, right. we don't get anything. So we need to change that over to pilots. You might want to put that on right yeah. on the basic goal. So that's, that's a major goal. Okay, all right. All right, so. Is he coming to this meeting? No. Okay. He, he knew that we were going to work on this, and he's coming in five minutes. Oh, he is coming to six. Yeah, so. yeah, no, no, yeah. he's coming. So, anyway, we're done with that part of it. Are you guys good? Do you want to vote on that, or? Um, if you want to make a motion to have me sit down with him, or I don't know if we need that in a motion, but. I don't know. It'll kind of clean it all up, but we. So okay. I'll, have a, I'll make a motion that um, after Tim um, writes this all down and formulates this, that um, Robbie Bobby checks it over and sits down with the uh, town administrator. I have a second that. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. So we have a little bit of time before executive session. Um, <coughs> Hi, bright light over there. Anybody have anything for the Board of Selectmen for public discussion? Um, nothing? Nothing, brother. Unless you could have Chuck and Magam a sweep uh, Ridge Hill Road. Tim, can we? Uh, yep, I don't know. Thank you. We can just ask. I don't know. Uh, did you hear about my tire? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I got one too, and I was going to go down the town all the road through the window, but I said, be nice about it. Just plug it. Uh, on camera. Did you hey, have I do have it? another thing. What? Could you? Is there? I don't know if there's any way. There's a trailer truck that hauls cars to XL. You know, one of the big ones that the sides open. Yeah. Well, the guy's coming through the four corners all the time. Uh, can you transfer? Can you change his route that he has to go? Legally. If he can't make that turn, he's. <laughs> He's in the lane to go straight up North Main Street, and he has to wait. He sits there waiting for everybody to come out of 79 so that he can make the turn because he has to go all the way over to the sidewalk on the other side to make the turn because it's too big of a trailer. I don't see how that's legal. It's a state way, though. I mean, it's a <coughs> public way. You can't really restrict. There's no weight restrictions on either bridge anymore. So, um, it's just going to be one of the things when someone can't move to another. I'm sure we can ask the chief to have a heavier enforcement in that area, traffic violation enforcement, but stopping them, somebody from using the road? No, no I didn't say stop them. I just, no, I know it's been I rerouting was, them. I know when, when Taunton takes its sewers to the dump, they have a certain route they have to go. They can't just go through the center of town with it. Maybe you could ID the uh, truck and speak to the... He goes right up this way every day. <coughs> yeah, well, it should have all his markings on it. So. I'm just talking. I think... <laughs> It's long. There's no way to make the. He's in the he's in the lane to go straight up North Main Street. You know, you, you put those new arrows in. Well, he's out there in the middle of the thing like this and everything, and he stops there and he's telling everybody else to go before. So he, he can't turn. he can't make the turn. But I just didn't know if I know like I said I know they give us separate routes, special routes yeah. to travel. So I don't know if they could yeah. do that. But the them. city is doing that to you. Yeah. You know. But I, yeah, we'll, we'll try yes, to do Best thing to do is try to get the owners markings and you know, maybe a plate number or something. See if we can 
get the person to use the highways. Hold on, we've the phone. Yeah. Um, does anybody else have anything else for the board for a public discussion? Okay. I just thought something, Lisa. Yes. Uh, a week or two ago, somebody ran into the back of the building, I'm sure you're aware. Now, you know those posts we have around the ramps? Would it be possible to put them between along the back to help uh, protect the building? Yeah, as soon as David sits down, I'll okay, we'll discuss sorry. that with him. <laughs> okay, well, got to start somewhere. Absolutely. I think there's some state or any public entrance has to be a crash barrier there. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything, it could just be a pole, uh, like a cement pole, reinforced pole and that's in place so a car can't. What about concrete? Um, a barrier, Jersey bar barrier, yeah, but Jersey barrier. that'd be kind of cumbersome. This would just be a pole that's sits in. Kind a of like pole, in if somebody could tell the vehicle, they can walk around the pole to come in either way, or even a wheelchair, but just so somebody doesn't hit the building. Yeah, you see in front of uh, stores a lot, so it doesn't... Yeah, the Target has those round blocks. Is that what they're So, they were asking because how the back of the building got hit, if we could put something in front of the building so nobody hit, nobody hit the thing. Thanks. Like piling or... Yeah, piling. Yeah, pile. kind of thing. Yeah. I, I was thinking of posts similar to what we have around <coughs> both of the ramps. If we had four or five of those, like right in front of the handicapped parking, as an example. <coughs> so, but like I say, so you can walk around and you don't want to break the uh, construction barriers. Okay. We'll okay. Look Perfect. Into that. Thank you. Um, discuss town offices and transfer business hours for the day after Thanksgiving. So in the past, um, I know that we've done town offices. They could use um, their personal time or vacation time to take the half day off. So, but I'm not sure what we do at transfer station. Did you find out? The transfer station um, was going to be. It's going to be closed. Uh, no, actually, I take it back. The transfer station is closed on Friday, Sunday morning. Okay. They're open Saturday, Sunday, so it's already closed. So that's not even. Okay, so just take. So I need to um, need to know what the board's pleasure is for allowing town offices to close the day after Thanksgiving by using personal or vacation time. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. Okay. Um, so I'm going to turn this part over to discuss um, credit cards with the treasurer collector Jessica <coughs> Thomas. Um, as you know, the board met with Jessica a couple of times, um, but. Again, it's one of those things that, um, you know, a changeover in town administrators. So um, David was gracious enough to work with um, Jessica, and what do you have? Um, uh, at our department head meeting um, about a week and a half ago, uh, we addressed a whole bunch of issues that are still out there, and one of the ones that came up was uh, having credit card readers swipes in the town hall, particularly uh, with the collector, um, the town clerk, and also potentially looking at the land, um, not the landfill, but the transfer station. Um, I know that the coll trader collector and the town clerk are very much in favor of it. Uh, the fees that are associated with um, using the service, that they, that from what I hear, a, a lot of people come in, they get there, and then they have to go to the ATM to get money. This is a convenience kind of thing. The fees are passed on to the customer. It's on a sliding scale based upon how much the transaction is for. Uh, they are the same exact fees that we currently charge online for online payments, so there's absolutely nothing different there. Uh, Unibank is the bank that we use currently. Uh, it's going to be the same bank that we're going to use uh, to do the readers. Uh, they'll provide the readers. They'll do all the setup in terms of the screens, and uh, there's a lot of interest in getting this done. And how much is the rental monthly rentals for those, the uh, swipe machines? As, as far as I know, the swipe machines are free. They're making the money off the fees. Off the fees. Because that was a question that we had before. Was oh, there any, any fees for the town involved? Um, just, just I don't believe that there are. But I can check and get back to you on that. I'd like to get going on it, but uh, 
And we're trying to make the whole town uh, a single point payer, so like the entire town hall at least should go through the collector treasurer's office. Um, obviously, the transfer station can't. Uh, is there anything else you're looking at anywhere else? The fire station, police station, what do they currently have? I know there's fees that get paid there. Do they already have something in place? Uh, I don't believe that they do, but I, I could check on that also. I, I was just under the impression from our discussion at the department head meeting of the fire and the police chief were both there. They didn't mention that they had any fees that they transacted other than the, the, the three and even the landfill we would need some kind of an internet connection in order to allow people to swipe their card and, and pay, you know, the fee. They only do internet, they don't do telephone? I don't know if there's, tele I don't know if there's telephone there. What a, well, they can do it off of their... You can do it off an internet connection to the swipe thing. But that's <coughs> not the same. You're going to pay a charge for that. And they can't get a swipe reader off their phone, correct? And use data? The swipe a card reader? A you can get a card reader for your phone, but once again, it's not going to be the same service as Unibank is offering. The trans the fees are going to be charged to the town, not okay. to the residents. All right, then why don't we just start off with just allowing Town Hall to do it and see how okay. we go from there. Yeah. And then if all things work out, then we can we can look into doing it at the trip. I know the transfer station is really one of, that really needs it. It really is. Because... It, we, it would clean up a lot of stuff. Like we wouldn't be handling money over no there. No cash, check, cash. Right. right. So I know that that's. I mean that is very important that we get that done. But why don't we start off with town hall, see how that works, and then within the next three months, try to get that done for. I think I think transfer will kind of slow down during the yeah, during the winter months, and then pay. So if we can get something going by spring, then we should be all set. Okay. The other place I'd like to have look into is um, the boat ramp in East Freetown. Mm -hmm. Actually, that uh, was also mentioned. Because we ch currently charge fees there. Uh, if we had one of those, like down the Cape, the week. it's one pay station, you do it one transaction there, you put your stick the sticker for the transaction on the windshield, and you could. Uh, we are also. Ramp. On the boat uh, ramp. I'll tell you. Yeah. On the boat ramp, Derek and I are looking into a uh, mechanism where we could um, e either a kiosk that would. I'm not real keen on a kiosk because then somebody has to go and check it, you know, relatively regularly <clears throat> um, during the day or during the time they're there. Um, I I read a uh, an article where Swansea was setting up a new system, and I did advise Derek, and he told me he was going to look into it, and, you know, when he gets a chance, um, how they're doing it. And ideally, it would be somewhere where there would be like a gate. Where you would, um, you know, pay either pay at the gate or where you would have a slip to use the gate, so the gate would open, and then you could go in and uh, leave your boat, and then come out and park. Um, something in that system. So we're looking into that, and, and it was even suggested that a similar thing might be uh, appropriate for the town beach. But so, stay tuned, I guess. Please All right. Stay. I know on, that um, on the, on the Carlton did a lot of work with that. So yeah. he has, um, right. on the said. kiosk part of it, so he has all that information. Yeah. Uh, it's just that I'm not real keen on a kiosk, and then you have to have somebody go to the site. Patrol the lot. Yeah, yeah, you have to have somebody so stop and by. Then, <clears throat> and then, so, is it defeating the purpose of, well, there's something not, not defeating, but you're, you have to have an employee involvement in that. So I was hoping something that would be a little bit more um, you can only go and check All right. fully automated fully like really fully automated <coughs> alright so we'll stay tuned for that ok <coughs> keep you posted thanks <laughs> alright so do you need a motion do you want a motion regarding no, going ok um, does the board want to make a motion to move forward with the credit cards for the town hall I'll make that motion yeah. I'll second it all in favor uh, aye aye you too ok um, discuss and approve all the snow plow contracts for 2017-2018. Let me just say that this is the first year in a very long time that it was relatively quiet, right, Tim? Um, Until the very last one, there was really no major questions or issues at all. I think right. we did all the heavy lifting last year. I think so, and Pretty I think much. that we got it all settled in the um, contract, even though there was just one little question about it, it seemed the answer was there, and we were fine with that. So 
we need a motion to approve all the contracts. And right. I don't need to say them all, do I? No. Okay, thank you. As listed. <laughs> as listed. <laughs> as listed in the, on the agenda. Um, but uh, we're all set, ready to go. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> do we have enough? Do have we, have we heard from the um, highway surveyor that we have enough for the, this year? Yes, he said there's actually some that he's probably going to have to turn away because he has too many. All right. We did a really good job then. We did. <laughs> <laughs> some of it was the insurance last year and when the commercial plates kick in. So I think that's why it was such a delay last year. Yeah, it's just a lot of nonsense, but it worked. Um, I think we have room for one more. Review and consider the October 19, 2017 open meeting law complaint filed by Patrick Higgins and discuss proposed response. Um, uh, in the response, there was a D error that needs to be corrected. Um, as soon as I can find it, I will tell you. Uh, it, <coughs> the reference, <coughs> most of the response is referencing the September 28th and 29th posting, um, but the Attorney wrote up in the second paragraph, uh, original notice was received by the town clerk at 3.27 p.m. on October 28th and posted that afternoon. That should be September 28th and posted that afternoon. The amended post, the amended notice was similarly received by the town clerk at 11.21 a.m. on September 29th, Friday, which is the next day. So that, that was the only recommended change that I would have. Are you sure? The rest of the, it, it was September 28th was the original posting. The amended posting was received, was posted on the 29th for a Tuesday meeting, which is still was outside the 48 hours. Um, but the that second paragraph references an October 28th posting, which was a month later. Okay. This letter was only written on October 24th. 24th, yeah. That's right. It should be like the third, <coughs> okay. third sentence. I get I get nervous about changing lawyers. Uh, it's just <laughs> if we're gonna have to do a response, I'm sure that'll be an issue if it's not the correct date. All right. Is everybody all all right with that except for the change in date? Sure. Okay. Do I have a motion to send that forward? I'll make the motion to send the letter forward. I'll second. With the with the change. Change. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, just so everyone knows, I I did go to a seminar last last Monday on the opening meeting law. And uh, this individual was there, <laughs> and he was uh, advised on the, uh, the actual operation of the uh, amended uh, agendas and what they have to do. So he was a little crestfallen, but uh, he was advised. Well, we're not in trouble. What happened was we amended, a, we amended or we, um, our office amended um, the notification for our meeting. And on the bottom, she didn't put amended version or amended blah, blah, blah. And he thought that that needed to be on there. It does not need to be on there. So that's why we're sending him a very nice response through our attorneys. And this individual has used our attorneys, or we have used our attorneys to combat this individual on several occasions. Uh, unfortunately, petty things like this cost the town $300 an hour it's for awful. a town attorney yeah. to write this letter and rebut this, these these, uh, we had about, what, complaints. seven of them? Oh, yeah. And we're not the only community. All the communities around us have the same individual, the problem, same individual. It's same person? Same person. Same person. Mm -hmm. Same person, yeah. Yep. So it's not, it's not a local person either. It's somebody that lives... Across a few, the bridge. A few towns away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody needs a hug. All right. Um, <coughs> right now, the board is going to go into executive session. We will reopen um, and come back out here but right now we're gonna just the three of us will and Tim will go upstairs you guys can relax here um, so I'll entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to litigation if an open meeting law may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares Excel Recycling versus Lisa Pacheco Robert Joes and Charles Sullivan individually and as members of the Freetown Board so moved. Do you have a second? Yeah, I'll second for purposes of closing. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Sullivan? Aye. 
Aye. Mr. Jones yes. and Mrs. Pacheco. And would the record reflect that I will be uh, <clears throat> recusing myself from being part of this session? It won't. I promise you, it's not going to be long. Are you going to stay down? To regular session. <clears throat> And the next thing on our agenda is discuss and approve um, website, town website as official posting location for meeting notices and public hearings in accordance with the new open meeting law regulations as submitted by Jackie Brown. I had a question about that. Can, can we still, according to the new regulations, it has to be near the clerk's office, but viewable 24 hours a day. Yes. The... Currently, we post some things on the door, on the glass door. A, does that cover us? Not that I'm saying we shouldn't post on online, I think we should. But that, does that also cover us if the online website goes down for an extended period of time? If we maintain posting it on the door so it can be viewable 24 hours a day. Anybody wants to go down there and view it? I don't have the answer. Webmaster? Uh, the only information I got from Virtual Town Hall is that they've never had an outage of more than six hours. We've been, we've been with them since it was 2013, and they existed well before us, so they've not had that issue. But do we have access to that site without you going through the town web, the town computer system? Because we've had outages, outages of weeks. Uh, yeah, it, the website's not hosted anything within t in so, town. So you can access it from yeah. not through the town so website? So even while we didn't have oh. internet last Monday, the website was still up and running. Okay. I was checking it hourly on my phone. Yeah, my, <laughs> my point, uh, uh, what I, I'm moving to Bob, is um, it's supposed to be 24 hours a day. And I, I'd hate to see it where we have to cancel meetings because we're you know, a couple of minutes, more than six hours or something like that. Um, when I was at the meeting last week, when I was at the uh, seminar, they, they did also, there's a possibility of having suggestions having some type of a poster outside the building. Uh, we basically, what's in the hallway there, you could have outside. Like a marquee? Yeah, like a, yeah. or you know, built, basically what, what's built in, um, oh, in town hall could be post, could be placed outside town hall. Yeah, so let's, let's put that on the war, as a warrant article, unless we have money in the capital in our capital um, improvement budget right now for town offices, if we can get one of those things and put it right outside yeah, well, town hall, that would be perfect. The clerk could have the key, she opens yeah. it up, puts yep. new ones the, in, locks it back it up. It wouldn't be very, I mean... They could be, it could be pretty expensive. Well, I, I'm thinking of something that's basically just like one by four sides, plywood back. Are you, uh, you going to make it for us? And donate it to the town. He is very handy. <laughs> it wouldn't be you bring your medicine cabinet down, Charles. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> but uh, and uh, no, seriously, be yeah. no. I and, get and it. You know, put it on uh, I mean, like a, a pressure yeah. treated. On a a lot of the restaurants treat. you go to the nice yeah. restaurant it has the right. menu right, right there. Yeah. It's a lock and yeah. key type right, thing. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what just, just something like that. Waterproof. And then, yeah, and then we you could know. actually place it on town hall. It doesn't have to be right. a standalone. We could right. place it right on. Right on. That's what that's what I meant. Like a restaurant, right on town hall. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something that's viewable, though, because some people don't have computers. Yeah. But I also think that Online. there are a lot of people that do have computers, and I'm not going to drive to town hall to check, but I would certainly go online. I would check. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I think doing both, yeah. and then, you doing know. Doing both, and then we don't have any issue at all. I know that George has also <coughs> spoken about, you know, getting people more involved and how to get the word out, so this is just another way oh, yeah. to say that the word is out, <laughs> and here it is, so... Anyway, what's uh, first, Steve? Can you look into into that? Unless yeah, Charlie's yeah. going to build it for us. If Charlie's going to build it, then we don't need to look into it. But <laughs> certainly, if but we can, it wouldn't be. Okay, it's not going to be. It wouldn't be much. I think we have a carpenter on the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can build it. Yeah. Um, all right. So we have a pleasure. <coughs> yeah, I'll make a motion that we also we post it online twenty four hours a day, and also post it. Currently, the way we are now on the door, but when if we do proceed with the marquee and the mark in a marquee type setup. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Approve on board of selectmen's minutes from October 16th, 19th, 23rd, and 2nd. I didn't have any problems with the, the minutes, so I'll make a motion to endorse. The only thing, if I can do, check. I just, 
want to make sure that they reflect that um, I did not enter into the executive sessions. They, they usually have the um, attendance, but Tim, if you could just, um, that would be the only thing that I would. I'll amend my motion to uh, reflect the change. Yeah, that's really important, Charlie. Yeah. Yes. And one, you were actually absent at one of the meetings because right. it was exactly. it solely dealt with um, right. the legal matter, yep. the executive session. All right. I have a motion and a second with the changes. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signal by by aye. 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 Okay. Um, signed contract for purchase of police cruiser tablets as submitted by Chief Abbott. Is he coming in? I didn't speak to him today. Okay. So do we have that contract? Yes. The contract. It's actually, in, uh, it's actually on the contract. Oh, the actual physical. Yeah. The actual physical. Should contract. be in the signature folder, though. Yep. <coughs> yeah. I, I have no it's the same contract as it was last. Oh, yeah, we bought a couple last year, I think it was. Yep. Mm -hmm. We started the upgrade process. And I don't still know if this is to replace those or if it's. I don't either. And I then think I it's just two new ones. So. Just a supplement. Uh, add, add a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the replacing the units they already had with newer updates. Now, do these, maybe you know, maybe you don't know, when we get the new cruises, do we just unbolt them from there and yeah. bolt them into the new, well, just like the old MDTs, or? Right, they're actually, um, basically, you take them out. Oh, so they're not even mounted. Yeah, right, they're okay. not even, there's a mount for them, but they, uh, they attach, you, you take them out. And but they're, they're, they're unit-specific, like cruiser-specific? Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're, they're All right, but they're not just a, like, no, iPad. But these are from the grants, correct? Right. Oh. Right? Right. The, it's it's Because we got 17915 in grant money yeah. um, in order to purchase those. So I just want to make sure this is not coming out of those. I don't see that in writing anywhere. Uh, okay. Contract for purchase of cruiser tablets from the 591 grant. Okay. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I, I okay. was actually on the pages. I wasn't reading that. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Background funding source. All right. <coughs> <coughs> make no <coughs> to endorse the contract. I'll second it. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. All right. And David, I'm going to turn it over to you. Sign Southeastern Serped's um, open space plan contract. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's number one, I wanted the board to know that I um, endorse the contract between the town and Serped. Um, about two or three weeks ago, I wasn't sure at that point. Um, uh, it had me down as the administrator, and I assumed that that would be okay to do that. I'm letting you know I did that. The contract now between the town and the state, which is the funding agency, is the, this contract that I'm referencing here. And once again, it's between the town administrator. The town administrator is listed as a signatory. So I didn't want to sign it without having the board at least acknowledge the fact that um, I'm the signatory on the contract. Okay. So so David and I were going back and forth today because we were like, you know, like usually the board has to enter into contracts, and but I think that clearly if we we have endorsed something like like for instance the credit card thing, right? So we've already endorsed that. So for him to sign off on something like that is is that's what he should be doing. Not wait two weeks until we meet again to sign something. So I think that if and if he just lets the board know prior to signing something like I'm going to sign this, if any of us haven't a problem like saying no we think we should wait on that then he'll wait but I think that it 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 would be dumb sorry it's so simple <laughs> no, no, dumbly no. stated but um for him to wait two weeks for us to meet to sign right. something that we either a are in agreement with or b have already endorsed right. so right. I think that that's fine right. thank you and now we can turn that right over to the town administrator's report. Okay. Uh, first thing I have is uh, the board did receive a letter um, from the Freetown Police Union uh, by a Sergeant Ashley uh, requesting to start collective bargaining. Um, it's my intention next meeting to have an executive session with the board to start talking uh, about um, bargaining issues and beginning to discuss some dates for the at least for the initial meetings. Um, the second thing is the transfer station uh, is going to be closed on Saturday, Veterans Day. Uh, we did take a look at the contract. The contract calls 
uh, actually calls out the fact that they uh, they uh, can be off on Saturday. Uh, I had made a request that they take Friday off uh, instead because it's less busy. Uh, the membership wanted to have the Saturday off, so they declined that offer. Just let the board know that uh, that the transfer station will be closed on Saturday Veterans Day. Can we get that noted on Facebook and the town website yep. too, please? Post one up this afternoon. Um, I met with Scott Preventer of um, the Department of Conservation and Recreation regarding prior, prior to his way, the conservation project. They're hoping to close on the, the larger parcels uh, in the spring for a total of 509 acres. The town also owns 120 acres that is conservation land in that same area. There are a whole bunch of little um, pieces of property that had a uh, title that wasn't very good, so they're not going to make any effort to get those parcels cleared. But the ones that you know they had good title with, uh, including us, um, they want to. They're looking at having the parking lot at the first two parcels coming into the property on Chase Road. <coughs> so um, they're going to put together an offer, and I, I'm going to present it to the board. One uh, with the with the building being taken down, and the other with the building standing because there's concerns about the building. Cor correct me if I'm wrong. Haven't we been over this though with the 150,000 and 200,000? They made an initial offer of 200,000, and then because of the building, they reduced it to 150. Mm -hmm. I think that even went to town meeting. Yeah, it was at town, town meeting. meeting. Yep. To, to go ahead with the sale. So. All right. Okay. I don't know yeah, if there's something the, they've changed since well, then. Well, he was under the impression they were going to make an offer, and he actually gave me a couple of figures that weren't 150. And yeah, I and believe the original was 200, and they mm -hmm. lowered it to 150 because they're because, because, because of the building. All right, that's because of the cleanup work. Yeah. <laughs> so we look at the warrant article and see how it was worded. Um, I it believe was, it was at the June town meeting, yeah. the annual town meeting. So if you look at that warrant article. You should be able to see how it was worded, and you can take that up with them. Also, um, I'm sure it's in the minutes, too. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. It might have been a special time. It might have been a special. Yeah, well, either one. It was either in June. Yeah, so. yeah. But they're definitely interested in acquiring those yeah, properties. Yeah, sounds sort of like they're still negotiating. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we'll... Um, See, you, you change a new town administrator, and you get new yeah, negotiations. Good. We're lower office. <laughs> Um, I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> the other thing is, the lots they're not going to take, are they in tax default? Are they still... They're, they're, I, I believe that they were tax titles, but they couldn't... They can't tax. find who they belong to. Yeah. Just yeah. Tax titles. So, and they, he said there were a bunch of tiny lots. The, the larger lots they didn't have any problem with. And, and, the, and the ones they really want, they, they have a clear title, including the two lots in the front. <coughs> Um, the board, I do want the board to know that uh, we're meeting with our legislation, le legislative delegation on uh, November 21st at 10 a.m. That's a different date than was originally uh, suggested. And, um, 10, I thought it was 9. You might want to mark your calendars. Here or your uh, office? Uh, I believe it's the town hall. Okay. Did we get the town hall? Okay, yeah, um, hall. There are a lot of people. I think Allie said there's about 10 people, so we might want to consider somewhere else. Yes. <laughs> Is anything going on here? I can find out tomorrow. All right. Find out, and then if if so, we can meet here mm -hmm. instead of town hall. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have an agenda for that meeting? Is there going to be certain things we want to discuss with them, or is it just an informational meeting? Um, there's probably some things that we as a board might want to think about talking to them about. Um, if so, I'd pass it all over to Tim or David and let let them put an agenda together. But usually we just get updates on where we no, are. No, I just there's some hot button issues going there on are. right now so that we maybe want to have some uh, about delegation weigh in. Okay, perfect. Then can you s send them over to Tim and then Tim oh, put the them David. on agenda and then yeah, and then David can review it and go forward. Uh, There's a regional school committee meeting on Wednesday evening, November 8, 2017, which I'm going to attend because there is 
going to be an, an executive session to discuss uh, collective bargaining strategy for the upcoming negotiations at the school. Do you have the contracts, the current contracts with us? I believe that we do. Tim has been chasing that. I know with the police and... No, no, I'm just saying the school. The schools? schools? I don't have those. Okay. I can you might want to look at those, David, and see what's in there. We've been tracking down all our neighbor communities, uh, contracts in the town hall, police, fire. Excellent. <coughs> Highway. Um, we did uh, receive a letter from the Sonnet Bay Shores Association to donate four marshlands for open space. The land was listed as unbuildable. Uh, we also have a recommendation letter from Kevin Desmaris from Jim Conscom to, to uh, uh, recommend that the board accept these parcels. There is a signature page that was attached to their letter and uh, uh, by by voting to endorse it, uh, uh, it, it will be an acceptance of, of the land by the town. I'll make a motion that we endorse the acceptance and uh, turn the land over to the Conservation Commission. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, we did receive a site plan review form L. Uh, oh, do you want it? I'm sorry. No, I just said. <coughs> well, it was some talk about uh, <coughs> making sure that the name of um, Colette and Dasco DeFeo were mentioned. Um, there, Colette DeFeo is still on on Cliff Drive, and she's the longest standing board member. She's been on the board since 1960. <coughs> so I didn't know if that was something we could just have noted that you know the Asuna Bay Shores, you know, thanks Colette and Dasco DeFeo, and just have it. Somewhere in the scheme of things, I was saying some at some time maybe in the spring we'll go down and have a cake and take some pictures and. Uh, I'll make a motion that we send a letter um, thanking the Sun Bay Shores Association and specifically Mr. Leo um, for the granting of the land. Do I have a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> um, we did receive in a site plan review form L for the Riverfront Business Park. Uh, it's on file in the Selectman's office, if anyone wants to take a look at that. Uh, <coughs> out of the department <coughs> meeting, a couple other issues came up. Uh, one is about the VADAR software, which is our accounting software. Um, I had been uh, working with the town clerk. Uh, our intention is to move the software to the cloud. Right now it's on the server, whenever the server is down. Um, the uh, uh, the people who need to use the software can't. And I, from my understanding, it's been down quite a bit. So um, what it does is basically allows them to work from anywhere, really, or, or over the internet versus off of the server. It also allows some of the off-site departments, such as the Council on Aging <coughs> Department, to go in and, and really take a look at their <coughs> reports and check balances and do the things that they should be able to do without any kind of obstacles in their way. So I've already started talking to Vadar. Uh, Kim and I are uh, planning on getting that done hopefully within the next month or so. Um, I've been working with the Board of Health uh, on the dumpsters, uh, the plan there. I talked to the chairman of the Board of Health uh, regarding uh, <coughs> dumpsters in his discussion with Derek and uh, the plan is to have five large, uh, the five large item dumpsters repaired initially. Um, it takes three weeks for the dumpsters to be repaired, uh, so we're going to do one at a time and uh, we're going to have to have, hire a flatbed to transport them. Um, the, the other issue that came up at the department head meeting was a lean-to uh, for over the gas tanks at the Highway barn. Um, the feeling among all the department heads was that you know the town had spent a substantial, uh, made a substantial investment in um, uh, getting the new pumps and they're electronically and computer driven, and uh, exposed them basically to the, the water, rain, heat, cold. The cold you can't do anything about, but the heat is a big problem. You know, with computers and heat and having the sun beating down on it. Um, I've got a quote uh, in, uh, for, of $1,900 from the gentleman that's doing the windows next in the building next door. 
and he could start doing that work fairly soon. So I'm going to authorize him to do that. I processed a, a um, PO for it. And if the board desires not to do that, I can pull the PO back. But I want to see the, the, there's a real strong interest in seeing those uh, pumps be protected. Does the manufacturer of the system have a canopy option that was? I'd asked about uh, this. They had said um, uh, Chuck and, and uh, uh, Scott when I was talking to them. They, they said that there's four posts there, so I guess it's it's going to be fairly easy to, to construct the roof. It's going to be some kind of a slant roof, sort of protects the sides and. Okay. I could check into that if you think that's a viable option. Uh, some of those come with a, you can up, up option the, when you buy it originally, it comes as a unit <coughs> and you can uh, add options to it. And I didn't know if there was a canopy option that was just a bolt-on canopy yeah. option that might be cheaper and easier to fit. It probably is. I was at $1,500 is actually pretty cheap for. Yeah. yeah. So I'm moving forward with that. Uh, for the next meeting, we have our tax classification hearing on. Um, I'm hoping we have one candidate for the um, Cable Advisory Committee. I'm going to ask the board to hold up appointing him. Uh, we're going to redouble our efforts and hopefully get another <coughs> couple of applicants in and do it all in one shot. Um, the next department head meeting is going to be on December 6th, and I'm planning a financial team meeting on uh, at some point this month, later in the month. Uh, today I met with the Council on Aging and uh, it was a nice meeting. I met the membership of the Council and they were, uh, basically went over some of the projects that they're working on <coughs> and uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to help them get the things done that they need to get done. So. Any questions? All well, set. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. I will turn it over to um, personnel. personnel. <laughs> Charlie's laughing. <laughs> You sure you don't have any trouble? <laughs> sure you sure? Personnel, police chief, you're up on the uh, personnel. You have something <clears throat> on here for uh, a new officer? Yeah, so uh, Joseph Cowing uh, came on board uh, earlier as an auxiliary police officer, uh, in addition to several others. Joseph has now completed his auxiliary police training um, satisfactorily, so we're recommending that he be elevated to a reserve position. He's successfully completed Reserve Academy? Yes. Right. Psychological, PAT, Reserve Academy, background investigation. PAT's done good. Um, and he had to write, how many hours is it for volunteer? Uh, it's about uh, 400 hours. So you put a good good amount of time, own personal time into doing this? Yes, all volunteer. Excellent. Um, so I have a certificate of appointment for Joseph P. Cowing, um, Freetown resident. For, oh, that's not it. for reserve police officer term expiring June 30th, 2018, effective October 30th, 2017. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second that. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 I have a change of status form for same officer Joseph Cowing from auxiliary, um, from the police department from auxiliary officer to voluntary to reserve a police officer one step one probationary hour rate of 1789 this is a new hire <coughs> motion. motion to approve second motion and second any discussion on the motion hearing none all in favor aye um you have something else from mr cowing chief yes signal operator we had a, a request to appoint him as a trainee a signal operator signal operator okay i have a request to Appoint him as a trainee signal operator. Um, motion to endorse a. I'm looking for a motion to endorse a certificate of employment for Joseph P. Cowling, signal operator trainee part time. Term expires June 30th, 2018. Effective October 31st, 2017. I make that motion. Second. Motion made and second. <coughs> Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, I have a change status form for Joseph P. Cowling. Um, this is a new hire, job part-time signal operator trainee, hourly rate of 1443. Again, this is a new hire. Um, go ahead. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Uh, discussion on the motion. Chief, these are two different pay rates or the same pay rate? These are two different pay rates. Well, the pay rate 
if we look at on the police side, you would go from zero, obviously, as an auxiliary volunteer, to the step one, level one, probationary reserve officer. Mm -hmm. Then it is a wholly separate department. We have the communications department, and you would go from zero, <coughs> obviously, civilian, to whatever the uh, uh, trainee's rate of pay was, signal operator training. And there's no issue with him receiving two different pays from the same same department slash same No, department. we just have to uh, monitor, you know, FLSA overtime. Uh, so so we are, uh, we're cognizant of that. We keep an eye on that. Okay. I'll make that motion. Uh, the motion was made and seconded. It was discussion on the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Aye. lastly, I have uh, uh, Mr. Wilbur sent a letter in for the cable uh, advisory Council, yeah. but the town administrator is asking us to hold. Is that Just correct? for two weeks, right. I'll put it back on. And we'll I'll make a motion point to that for, for two weeks. Two weeks. Second, we don't have to do that, but okay. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Here and none. All in favor? No. Aye. Aye. And finally, Vincent D. Um, D. Oliveira has sent a letter to the board. I'm writing to request an unpaid leave from January 1st, 2018 until April 30th, 2018. If this is not allowed, please accept my letter of resignation. He's a van driver with the COA currently. Um, he's having, I believe, a procedure done, and he won't be able to drive for, uh, what is it, four months. Um, what's the board's pleasure? I make a motion that we uh, give him, grant, grant him the uh, leave of absence from January 1 to January 30th. Second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Um, as long as, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you can, I'm going to ask a question too. I know that they were short-handed on van drivers. Where do they stand right now? They did pick up a second part-time, so. Now you'll be short again. Not really. Uh, I, I think, I was talking to Barbara about it. She figures the two part-timers we got will take over for okay. whatever Vinny was going to drive. Okay. And we have another one that does two days a week. Okay. Two days, two days, so. All right. I just want to make sure that we have to pick up another part timer or like a substitute. But well, Barbara thinks we're good. We're good. Okay. And he's volunteer, correct? No, they're, he's not they're, volunteer. They're he's on, he's is he commercial? Is he a commercial operator? I don't know what the deal is. I mean, they meet all the state regulations, all four of them, <coughs> the training and this and that. So. I just want to make sure we he still meets whatever requirements he is required to have when he comes back. Yeah, they, I'm thinking a couple, three months ago, they might have done something to give him another two years. Medical card? <coughs> the whole training deal. I don't know the specifics, yeah. but I, I seem to recall uh, they, they had everybody do it for a two-year deal, so they'd be all on the same schedule. Okay. So I have a motion made and seconded to allow the um, Mr. D. Oliveira, the January 1st, 2018 to April 30th, 2018, unpaid leave. Um, made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Kimberly Fails, and I thought that was it. Uh, certificate of appointment for Kimberly Fails, just to re-sign re her contract. Um, town account term expires June 30th, 2018, effective November 1st, 2017. The certificate of appointment. Yeah, we just didn't. We, we signed the contract. We, we yeah. didn't, we didn't uh, reappoint her. I'll make a motion to um, appoint Kimberly Fields November 1st, 2017 to June 30th, 2018. I'll second that. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Here and all in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> um, Ms. Fails also sent a letter to the town, uh, to the Board of Selectmen personnel. Um, as of October 31st, 2017, I have un unused sick time of 50.25 hour, 50 hours. I respectfully request the Board of Selectmen vote to approve the carry forward of these hours into the next employment cycle that begins November 1st, 2017 and runs through June 30th, 2018. The memorandum of agreement that extends the employment <coughs> agreement of September 26, 2014 allows for the carry over sick time up to 30 days or 270 hours. Um, we need a motion to approve and not approve. What is pleasure. she? What is her current hours right now? Do we know? Current number of sick hours. Yeah. 
I believe they, I have unused sick time of uh, 50 hours, 50.25 uh, hours. hours. That she has Total. Unused. Unused. Total unused. Right now. Right. Okay. She's not here. Right. So, but the contract allows for up 270. to 30. Right. I didn't know where she was. I didn't know. She's okay. only asking to carry over the 50.25. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Make a motion uh, to uh, allow them for the carryover. For the 50.25 hours? Right. And I'll second that. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Aaron, none all in favor? Aye. 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 Can, Help. You, can you find out exactly how many total hours she has on the books right now? Thank you. Health Department appointment, uh, Freetown, I have a... I have a letter from, um, yeah, no, I was, I was told <coughs> by the, um, <coughs> yeah, the town seal on it. Freetown Selectman, I am writing to inform you that my employment status has changed and effective October 30th, 2017, will no longer be able to assist your town with health related inspections and other departmental matters. It has been a pleasure to serve you, your needs throughout the past several years. I am confident in the recent health agent you have chosen and think you will service your community appropriately and effectively. James Aguiar, building commissioner. Um, actually, he was our assistant health agent. Um, need a motion to accept the okay. resignation. I'll make the motion to accept the letter of resignation. Second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Aaron, none all in favor? Aye. Aye. And so can we send him a letter? I have uh, I talked to Derek, and he's going to talk to a couple of the neighboring communities to see if somebody would be willing, be willing to serve as a backup for vacations and sick days and things like that. Okay. Thank you. And can we send him a letter, Tim? Thank mm -hmm. him for his service. Um, Board of Selectmen, to the Honorable Board of Selectmen, the Cemetery Commission would like to commend Mark Audet for the fine job he has done painting the new shed at the Sonnet Burial Ground. Through the cooperation of the building department, Mr. Odette was allowed time to paint the shed during October as the work has not gone unnoticed and has already resulted in compliments from visitors. Submitted by, uh, sincerely, Mike McHugh, Chairman, Freetown Cemetery Commission. I'll make a motion to put this letter in his personnel folder. I'll second that. Motion made and second in discussion on the motion. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And that's it for personal. And any new business? Okay. Uh, just uh, the only new business I have is just um, to let everybody know that the test pits um, went very well the other day at the um, site for the police station. So um, at our next meeting, we'll be moving right along. What is the next meeting scheduled for? Um, they wanted to get something done, so I, uh, like formally written out before we had another meeting. Is it next week, Carlton? Yeah, so <clears throat> the an formal analysis of the soil and some other elements won't be done for a week or two. Right. Um, but preliminarily, as uh, uh, the chairperson said, uh, it's uh, indicated that a structure could be built over there. Additionally, the, um, the perk rate was it passing <coughs> rate as well. <coughs> so when's the meeting set? Do you know when the meeting's scheduled for? I think we're deferring the meeting until after we get the uh, so nothing technical so nothing data. Set in stone. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Anything else? No. Nope. Motion um, to adjourn? Uh, uh, no. Nope. We're we going back into executive session. We have another executive session? Right? Yes. 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 You thought you were done? I thought I was done. <laughs> they pull me back in. Right back Every time down. you think I'm out, I pull me back in. Um, okay, so Your turn. now I have a motion to go into executive session um, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for contract negotiations with non union personnel, um, Police Chief Carlton E. Abbott Jr., and not to come back out into open session. Make a motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Mr. Sullivan? Aye. Mr. Jones? Yes. And Mr. Chico, yes.